Hello, this is Hal Cohen from StuffForBabyBoomers.com with a PSA, a public service announcement. You know, I was going to make a comedy video today for a whole other website, and then I got this thing in the mail. It's a very official looking form. So, I want you to see it's from PMB number 220, 325 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C. Now, everyone knows that the White House is at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, so you would assume being from any address on Pennsylvania Avenue, it would be an official government form. Uh, but something just didn't sit right with me. And I want to read what it says. It says, Preposed cuts to existing government programs include a significant reduction in the federal Medicare program, which may result in an increase in premiums and fees that you must pay and a decrease in some benefits. This new cutback in the federal Medicare program means that you will become responsible for an even greater portion of your health care expenses, expenses that were previously paid by Medicare. For more information about these changes and how they will personally affect you and your present health care coverage, simply complete and return this postage paid card today. There will be no cost or obligation for this information. Also, designed for limited income families or fixed income seniors, a plan is available to help pay any final expense debts that Social Security does not pay. A Google search for the address 325 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C., uh, comes up with some interesting results. You've got uh, official looking notice not from the government, the Southwest Times, National Processing Center targeting the elderly in a dot 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 ripoff report. Ripoff report, National Processing Center complaint review. Uh, fraud alert, the Miller, Miller Elder Law Firm PA. Senior final expense information, fraud, fraudulent unsolicited mailing, uh, etc. So there you have it. I just want you to be aware when you get things in the mail from an address, that, from these official looking documents, if it's an address you don't recognize, just Google the address and see where it leads. Uh, it'll take you down some rabbit holes. Sometimes it will be legit, but this one proved to be fraudulent. So just keep your eyes open and just know that they'll come after you through email and regular mail as well. This is Hal Cohen from StuffForBabyBoomers.com signing off.